funny movie. There's some hilarious lines. <laughs> Love the background check, by the way. So yes, I was yes, curious oh, enough. Yes. Did you do that with Josh? No, God, Did, no. no. I, maybe I should have, though. <laughs> it's a bad idea. Does this girl exist? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's so funny because I seem to play a lot of these uptight chicks. <laughs> I think it says a lot about me. So I relate, you know, yeah. I do, I relate. And no, I've never printed out somebody's profile and, or done a background check when we were on a blind date. But I do. I did absolutely have a checklist. Um, it wasn't quite as detailed right. as Abby's, but, you know, I had a pretty specific idea of what I wanted, what I thought I wanted. So do know? tell what was on the top of that list. I think a top of the list was, it was more of an emotional thing. I wanted yeah. compassionate. I wanted someone who's not judgmental. I wanted right. someone who you know, could laugh at themselves just as easily as they'd laugh at me. I love how when women, in, and it comes out in this film, when Jerry in, in his character is saying, you just describe your, you know, girlfriend, yeah, you know? know? Which is true. Is, is that what women really want? They want us to be their girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> Thanks. And uh, the worst is when your husband or your, your significant other looks at you and says, I am not your girlfriend. Take this conversation elsewhere. And you're like, oh, you're right. I'm really sorry. This is awkward. <laughs> because you're, like, divulging too much that you would really only tell your, your best yeah. girlfriend. Are you more of the uh, caviar champagne date back in the day or was it beer and baseball caviar and champagne really? let's just get real <laughs> <laughs> i should say beer and baseball but that but would be dishonest i don't ask about the hair and the blonde and oh, the brunette right. it's actually so random because i literally just went in yesterday to get my roots done um and my colorist kim Vo said you want to shake it up and i went because I, normally I can't. Izzy's blonde. Izzy's been blonde for five years. I can't mess with that. But she's bald now. She's oh, wearing a right. scarf. I can do whatever I want. So I shook it up. How do you put this guy together? Is he as rugged as he comes across as being? Yes. I've seen Jerry, though, in a tux, and it's hot. Really? Yeah, he cleans up really well. <laughs> Does he take the beard off all the way? Um, no. no. No, I've never seen him clean shaven, I don't think. Um, but, you know, he's a man's man, and that's what makes him so appealing. We all talk about how we're missing the Cary Grants and the, those, those movie stars of old that were just these sexy, charismatic men. And yeah. I really feel like Jerry is filling that, that missing thing right now. He's that guy. He brings yeah. that to the table, and it's awesome. My family I try to address the stuff that I've been doing for so long, and I'll, every once in a while an aunt will ask for an autograph, and I'm like, but that's Aunt Ruthie. Is it that way at all with your family? They're like, you know, can I just get an autograph yeah. for so and so? Or I want to put this up on my my brother yeah. will ask me that. Yeah, put it's, up on a fridge it's or something. brutal because it's really obviously really hard to say no to your family, and um, I always want to sort of uh, accommodate everyone, but. I sort of was getting stuck in that thing where every time I went to visit my dad, I would have to sign, like, 20 autographs for my, my cousin Beck and his fifth-grade teacher, you know? And I was like, okay. The problem yeah. is that, not that it takes me it takes me two seconds to sign something, it's that when you go home or you're with your family, you kind of just want to be one of the clan. You don't want to yeah. be the, the entertainer, you know? You just want to be treated like you've always been treated and basically ignored like you've always been. <laughs> so... <laughs> Do you think we'll ever understand each other, men and women? No. Um, but I think I think there is hope that we um, can maybe sort of come to some middle ground, you know, that we, when you really love someone, you, you will definitely make the sacrifice for certain things. You will compromise a little bit of your, I will compromise a little of my uptightness. And Josh will compromise his golf. Because <laughs> he loves me. Wait, did he say him. that or did you say that? I said that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> On national television. How do you feel now, honey? Hmm? Yeah. <laughs>